What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Sin City Crypto. I am David. I'm joined with Robin. And today we are talking about big news coming out of Meta and Instagram. They will be having an NFT marketplace and a couple of projects they handpicked to help run that. And let's not waste any time and get right into the information. Instagram to launch NFT marketplace. This is sourced from you today. Uh, this marketplace will uh, allow its users to mint their own NFTs. Uh, they will also launch their own marketplace that will allow creators to sell their NFTs. Meta will initially test the new NFT features with a select group of content before making them available to all users. Uh, Arweave was a beneficiary of uh, this announcement as they are up 60% on the partnership news. Their AR token uh, surged 60% after it was revealed that Meta is planning to integrate the project's services, which if you're not familiar with Arweave, they are data storage. Uh, our weave services will be used to store the digital collectibles and all the innovations are primarily aimed at attracting creators and enabling them to earn which of course you know anything about content creators earning money is a big thing and this is kind of the interface what it's going to look like here on the mobile app uh with this collection uh i wanted to bring to life that truly represents my creative process and so you can add collectibles, you can see different collectibles, you can uh, connect your digital wallets, and it's all going to be available in the app. Super convenient, super easy to use, and very user-friendly. Now, uh, Robin, we have OpenSea, we have LooksRare, DXDY or DYDX, whatever it's called. Um, is this a good thing for the space to have these large conglomerates getting into NFTs, getting into Web3, getting into blockchain? Um, are they just going to wipe the floor with, uh, with with some of these other companies are here? Or is this just going to bring competition and and essentially force these other companies like OpenSea to essentially step their game up? Well, we know when it comes to any market, competition is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you always want open competition. It drives not only innovation, uh, it also drives down uh, price and cost. And uh, so that off the top is a good thing. Now you can make an argument, is it good for our space that uh, larger companies are controlling uh, the marketplace or have market share? Probably not. However, with them entering the space, uh, the smaller guys are gonna have to innovate and be and, and have to show their worth. And so if you're OpenSea, for example, the, the leading NFT platform, uh, if you're going to compete with, with the big guys, you got to do it better than them. And you know what? Meta, uh, the parent company behind Instagram, has got a lot of money to throw at it and probably have a pretty big development team. So they have a large user base already. A huge user base as well. I was going to say loser base, but, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, honestly, man, it, it's... It's good for the space. However, uh, who would I like to see on top? Who would I like to see win? It'd, I would like to see a company coming from within. I like to see a blockchain company innovate and design uh, someone from her own sector. I think that's the the, the ideal situation. However, uh, I unfortunately think that at least in the next, uh, say, the bull cycle, I think somebody from the traditional world or outside, or maybe in the Web2 world, uh, someone from outside the crypto sector is probably going to spearhead um, the, the, in, the NFT industry. And you know what? If there's money to be made, and there's a lot of money to be made, uh, these big companies will take advantage of it. Don't think that all of a sudden the crypto world is going to blow up and everyone's going to be like, ah, I'm okay, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, they're going to see opportunity and they're going to jump on it. So here's uh, here's one positive I see. Um, you know, OpenSea, their user uh, monthly users dwarfs in comparison to Instagram, to Meta, some of these other larger platforms. So what this is going to drive is it's going to drive adoption, mainstream adoption. It's going to bring exposure to the NFT place, and uh, you know you might not like that that. A lot of the volume, maybe, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, or, or obviously it's not happening, but if a lot of the volume comes from, let's say, Instagram's marketplace versus OpenSea, I mean, would you rather have that, or would you rather have, uh, you know, maybe one out of every 20 people knows what an NFT is, knows how to buy and sell an NFT, knows how to mint an NFT? And uh, back to what Robin said, as far as competition, 
That is the foundation, the bedrock of this country in the USA. Competition breeds excellence. And so let's say Instagram comes in and they say, hey, we want to blow this thing out of the water. We want to bring everyone over to our platform, 0% transaction fees. How do you compete with that? I mean, honestly, you got to be when, innovative, when, man. When your business model is to fund your 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 business, your your business model is solely reliant on transaction fees and the competition is charging zero transaction fees. I mean, from a user perspective, if I can buy board ape here, pay was it two two to five percent? Let's just say two percent. Two percent is uh, the the fee for the exchange. Of Seventy ETH. That's one point four ETH. That's like two K. Okay. So once again, you can either pay zero or you can pay two ETH for a transaction. Where are you? What are you gonna do? Obviously, especially when these things become more mainstream, and there are companies transacting. Because you got to remember, yeah, retail right now we're the NFT degens. But in the future, you got to think there's going to be companies that are going to be arbitraging uh, NFT marketplaces that are transacting hundreds of transactions throughout the day. Where do you think they're going to go? Where do you think the massive volume is going to go? It's going to go to the one that is cheaper and more efficient. And the one that also has more users. And well, put yourself in the shoes of, of an NFT creator, okay? Let's say Sin City Crypto... We're launching an NFT project. Um, are we going to sit here and say, no, we don't want to launch on Instagram, even though they have uh, 10 million daily active users or whatever the number is. We want to stay true and launch to OpenSea. I mean, when it comes down to business yeah. and, and making money, right? Okay. We, if you were going to launch a, a project right now, would you launch on, on Near or on Ethereum? Ethereum. There you go. Even though, like, because you're going It'll to where... It'll be cheaper where, to launch on Nier, right? But but it, let's say, for example, the marketplace was... So now you're going where the community is. Right. And so the users, the volume, the liquidity, it's on OpenSea, not on Nier. Yeah. And so if this was flipped, if the users were on Nier... If the if the if the competition was neck and neck, and one of the only differentiating aspects between launching on Ethereum and launching on Near, let's say they had the same amount of users, you'd probably go with Near, right? Because it costs you less money. Hmm. And so, if you come in with the users and you're on par with the biggest competition, and yet you charge nothing it's going to be a no-brainer on where the market's going to go. And so kind of scary because, as I mentioned when we came in, I, I would like to see homegrown talent go, come into the NFT space. I don't, want to, I don't want to see Disney and Netflix and uh, all these other big companies control it. You know, next thing you know, you're going to have Amazon. Next thing you know, you're going to have, uh, you know, Spotify. And... We can't stop them. Remember, from N coming. NFTs are more than just pictures, and and it's, it's entertainment. It's 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 collectibles. It's community. It's community. Yeah. And who's got who's got the 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 lion's share of entertainment right now? It's Better. Spotify. It's Amazon. It's Netflix. And so, I know you're you're thinking maybe right now watching this like, how, what does Amazon and Netflix? What do they have to do with NFTs? Oh, you better believe. Like I said. They see money. Uh, all of a sudden, you start seeing a boom in uh, NFT music. Who do you think is going to step up to the plate? Probably Spotify. You know, um, so a couple of coins that have benefited from this. Uh, the first one, and I want to show, uh, I want to show this tweet from Meta. Soon, you'll be able to make and sell NFTs on Instagram, starting with Polygon. So they chose Polygon as the very first chain to start uh, this new endeavor they're doing. And also, we did cover the uh, Arweave integration. Uh, if we swap over here and take a look at the biggest gainers over the last 24 hours, Arweave is up 45.6%, and Polygon is up almost 10%. So uh, if you're not familiar with Arweave, they are a data st uh, cloud data storage. Uh, taking a kind of look at, at like under the hood here, they have 51% uh, of their total supply circulating. 
Not what you want to see. We typically want to see closer to 80%, but still the total supply or the max supply is, is pretty low. Only 66, uh, 66 million are weave tokens. And, um, you know, as far as their liquidity, not, not, not big liquidity in the U S but, you know, globally in Asia and Europe, uh, they're listed on Binance, KuCoin, Huobi, Bittrex, Crypto.com Exchange, Maxi. Um, so our weave, you know, I would argue they're probably the biggest beneficiary of this, right? Because uh, I think so. I mean, because they're the smallest project. So, I mean, you could sit here and say Polygon is, but at the same time, Polygon is such a large project already. They have so much investment in so many partnerships. This doesn't catapult them uh, into some new bracket that they weren't already in. Uh, it's just another partnership for polygon N not to discount this one this is absolutely huge i mean you see polygon partnering with disney but this is the first time i've heard blockbuster partnership with our weave blockbuster and, yeah not saying not saying the company blockbuster i'm saying that oh. it's a blockbuster it's huge yes, yes. It's, it's a giant partnership uh you know you're out you're outside the top 50 on the on the market cap list uh you're at number 77 i believe and so, you know, small a small project like this, comparatively speaking, even, even with the forty percent pump, our weave is still number eighty one. That's big, man. So I believe um, they it, might have been. This outside might the be top. something to keep on the radar moving forward. Um, obviously, they had a, a big pump, so you know, if you're interested in our weave, perhaps in a few weeks. Uh, finding a uh, a lower entry point, and who knows? Maybe this just could just straight rip and, and never come back. It's very possible. It's possible. We've it's seen possible. that with Polygon in the past, where they made some big partnerships, they just never look back. Um, but I think our weave, especially being in a bear market, uh, and and because it's not in front of the retail user, because retail is not using cloud storage in in the crypto space. Uh, more or less the projects are, it might not be so evident and so front and center. The same way that if Chainlink makes a, a, a partnership with somebody, it's more back-end infrastructure. Uh, so it might not get the same headline. Same thing with Arweave, uh, but that doesn't discount its, 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 its partnership in general. So I agree. You know, these are two projects that we are fans of here at Sin State of Crypto, are being Arweave and Polygon. Uh, make sure to keep their eye on those. But one one um, advice I would give is you never jump on a high-speed moving train. You wait for it to get to this next stop. Our weave is currently on going over 100 miles an hour. It's not financial advice, but would not recommend getting in now. Recommend for it to draw back a little more. But again, it's your money. Do as you please. That'll do it for the video today. Make sure you subscribe and like the video on your way out. And uh, come join us Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for our daily live show. We have myself and Robin. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.